I was going to say, DOS bombs with your pocket in the MG News today, bro. <laughs> Front and back. Bomb squad go to Claire's. <laughs> Yeah, just two giant men sitting on that wee stool that they put like six year olds on. That would be <laughs> getting a gun jammed in your ear and all. It's too fat. It's like a pork chop. <laughs> I can't get it through. I'd be like trying to staple big. <laughs> Gladys? 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 Does your brain not go. Your Gladys are scrappers. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis enjoyed a sh in a hot dog. <laughs> Wrapped in bacon. <laughs> um, before I flush this, can somebody wrap this in bacon? Weird, you have a real deep conversation with someone, and then you, you wonder to yourself, will I ever see them again? Yeah. You know? For 30 chips quid. In the yeah. night? Yeah. Chips in the night? <laughs> no, chips in the night. <laughs> I do love chips in the night. <laughs> That's why! Bad man. <laughs> Clarence Carter. They don't make them like they used to. What a thoughtful woman. What a romantic love song. If my shit's not tight enough, <laughs> stick it in my ass. What a thing to whisper in someone's ear mid penetration. I know. If, that's enough. That's like a bag of noodles. Clarence Carter was fired in my ass. Attacking it from the back. No, with no strings attached. <laughs> Can I get a whoop whoop? You know. Let me tell you. If you if you didn't know that was Clarence Carter, you know, you might be like Tom Jones is absolutely on one. Oh. <laughs> Tom Jones has gone rogue. How much shagging has Tom Jones done? He could he could really do songs like that. I'd say he's read out. Yeah. Tommy Jones probably has he's a green dick at this stage, like. Oh yeah. If you think his face cock. if you think his face is leather. Oh I. Oh, you a, want the cushion face? Get I get a go at that cock. And a cock to match. Wrecked. What was he at? Now he's in the voice, aren't he? Aye. That's sure where they're turning the seats around. Aye. I, he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Fuck, he's dead. <laughs> he's stroking. He's stroking. <laughs> he's having a stroke. <laughs> Guys, get yourselves a word of the Patreon for the podcast. We've got a fuck ton of bonus content out there. Everything from live podcasts, bonus podcasts, Q&As, you name it. That's all there. Big bowl of shit for you to talk into. Bomb no. squad. We're back. What episode is it, for God's sake? 37. I can't keep yeah. fucking track of shit. We're bank recording. Yeah, we Are we then. allowed to tell the people that? Yeah. We're bank recording, that's what we're doing for you, you know what I mean? Yeah, because now he's out here catching flights. Nah, we're more flights than bronze. Oh, oh, Jesus fucking... Yeah. Bronson? Yeah. Richie, Bronson yeah. over here fucking... <laughs> this is <laughs> Bronson. Yeah. <laughs> Country America, you... <laughs> Bronson, we're talking about. Uh... Aye, so here we are. Well, this is quite a late recording for the boys. It is. Half really four in the, af- in the afternoon. But we're full of subways, so we'll be alright. There's a big... What the fuck is on my face, bro? See, this is the danger now, is we've both had subways, and... Oh, I've the boys are full of six inches and I've, twelve inches. I've been filling my teeth since I sat down to make sure... Right, bits? Gone. You know bits? No bits? No. I don't, well, I don't know if it's a subway, but... Well, you've no sandwich, but there's something. <laughs> You've been eating plaster? Or I found a new crack as well. Let me tell you. At the back of this one here. Oh, man. And it's one of them ones too. You know the way like old boys love toothpicks? I always used to wonder, is that like a luck thing or what is that? But it's because you do get to a point, and I've reached it at 29, unfortunately, where there's just wee cracks in your teeth where food will stick. Aye. Yeah, Aye. Mine's at the back too. Getting them Shea McGowan's in. I know. Oh, this is early McGowan. So yeah, early McGowan. McGowan. You need more than a toothpick? Yeah. <laughs> get in there red chisel. Sledgehammer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, ever since I got Invisalign, I never floss my teeth ever. Yeah. Couldn't get the floss betwixt them. I still think about your uh, dentist, man. And now I'm like, fucking, put a rope through it. I don't yeah. know what the, like, the, this is them fixed, and I'm, I'm buying a thousand fucking floss harps off the internet. Is brushing teeth a non negotiable for you? Do you ever have an off night? Brushing my teeth? Mm-hmm. I try and do it most days. I... You ever come on a wild rack, though, when you're just like, ah, I can't be arsed? I mean, there, there are nights where I've been pished, and yes. I just fucking give up on it. Ah, uh, well, if you're pished, you know, there's no point brushing your teeth anyway. No point doing anything. It's been attacked all night with whiskey gingers. But I've said this to you before, I, I will. Just brush my teeth if I find myself in the bathroom shitting or something. Aye. Midday. Have you ever shit while brushing your teeth? No. No, me neither. No. Don't have cardio for that. No. The coordinator is like rubbing your tummy and whatever that fucking thing is. As soon as that asshole's open, your your brain switches off. Oh, why? Can't do anything. That's that's man's self-care. He's taking a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Take yourself out of 
Yeah, who needs the car map? You know what I mean? That's where you get all your you, thinking done. We're going to have a scat. Nah. The scat tap. I had a disastrous scat this morning. Oh, so... so you, it's becoming a theme now. We should just do shit reviews every week. So. Calling shit segment? Yeah. What was it? Because yesterday you were saying you produced going, one that was clean. Yes. And it was long. Today? The opposite. What? Infinity wipe. Yeah. No, I had a, we had an Indian last night and I was going boxing this morning. And Mick pulled up at the house in the TT. What a terrible combination. Yeah, and he, he was like, uh, I was like, change the plan, Mick. We're one car down. You're driving. And he goes, no sweat. Yeah. I was like, I'm just going to go for a quick pedal before I go here. Mm-hmm. Pedal out my ass. Like an espresso. Couldn't, just... couldn't stop wiping. Yeah. By the time I finally got up and looked in the toilet, I was like, I might have to take some of that back out. So I might have to take some of the toilet roll back out. <laughs> what did you have it in then? Huh? What did you have it in then? A chicken madras. That's a spicy number, isn't it? Spicy enough, like. Yeah. It's not a korma, but it's not a. It's not hectic. I went to an Indian in Liverpool the other day, and there was a table of four women, giddy. I was like, it was like uh, loose women, but they were, they were doing a wild pile of yapping. Uh, Terrible manners. You know, the the waiters were nervous. Okay. Going towards the table. Cock grabs, no? It was a it was a fiftieth birthday, <sighs> and uh, yeah, it was let's fall. It was just. Oh yeah, Lowe's hit the town after. Just. Oh my. There's something about that northern accent too when it's steaming, it's, in the, it's a lot like. Just in the middle of a dance floor. Yeah. Grinding up in some young thing. Oh, throwing it back. <laughs> that dense Indian fart that you have to scoop out of your pants. I My hole was rumbling the whole time since it, you know. <laughs> You're the only person that has a rumbly hole. Oh, I. I get a rumbly hole at McDonald's. Like, it's embarrassing. I think uh, I've definitely uh, got something. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I should get checked. I should get the round docs. You, 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 full be, MOT. you might be one of the few people has IBS instead yeah. of bullshitting about it. Yeah. You might actually have it. Yeah. And if that's the case, listen, you can live your life, you know. I've heard many stories like that. You know, you'll be sitting going like, do you boys not have absolute water diarrhea nine times a day? And, every, <laughs> and everyone's like, nah. And then Mike Rice one time, he was I be there's a lot of blood coming out my arse when I shite. And I'm like, I check that out. No, no blood now. And I'm like, old blood? And he's like, no, fr- running out of it. Yeah. And you're like, Ugh. New blood? <laughs> New blood? Got that old blood? <laughs> I'll be scatting. <laughs> Speaking of blood, pre-podcast, we were just talking about the clip that's doing the rounds on the internet of the guy accidentally getting shot in the head. Oh my God. Well, I can't believe we both started our morning with it. And you were like, this is this is the thing that's going to put me off Twitter. And I was like, was it the guy that got shot in the head? Yep. And then Al was like, yep, seen it. And then Dave was like, yeah, oh, he's watching cartels getting their hands blown off and shit. Yeah. He's, you know, he's keeping it Mexican yeah. over there. Live League Premium. Live League Premium. <laughs> Live League Gold. <laughs> 15 pound a month. <laughs> and I come, and then you said the wee fact check thing on Twitter was like, he lived? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, in what capacity? Apparently so. Are they like, he lived on? Because his, <laughs> his, his organs were donated to someone else. Huh? <laughs> what? Dornated, you said there. Oh, it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very, you, it's very few. Don't I get you to do that. fucking bring me up. I, when grammar. I get the chance, I have to leave it up. Yeah, but at least that's close to the real word. Dornated. You're just, you're just making shit up over there. <laughs> With full conviction. See, if you die, you're going to have your organs donated. I might donate them. <laughs> if, you, if, if anyone wants to take them. I don't know if you'd want my organs. Taking the liver out, it's like foie gras, you know, and right. fat geese. <laughs> Jesus, just solid fat and butter. It is, a, it's, a, it's too much to start your day I with. Could, I, I tell you what I could donate is, uh, is shoes. Qu- quad, yeah, shoes <laughs> and hats. Quad meat. You'd get about two or three legs out of one of my legs. Ah, uh, you've acquired you've like two if, shanks. If, and you if, left. if someone else was missing a bit of leg, they could take a bit of, a bit of thigh muscle. Yeah. And then someone else could take a bit of thigh muscle. Yeah. You wouldn't want to go near kidneys or... No. I dare say the lungs are clapped out. I mean, every time I go for a check at the doctor's, which is once every five years, um, they tell me my liver's in great condition. How do they know? Which amazes me. Bloods, man. Bloods? Yeah. Uh-huh. I was noticing on that video where the guy got shot in the head, how much blood comes out of your head when you get shot. So, hey, su- surprise, surprise. Yeah. yeah. It could be cool to see what would happen if you get shot in the head. Oh, it'd be. You know, it's, you know. it's two days later, still run night. No, Jesus Christ, man. It never ended. The fuck was that? Like some gun come out of it? I don't know how he lived. No, according to Twitter. And uh, you can't, uh, it was Twitter themselves put the way thing beneath it, wasn't it? So yeah, like it has to be true. Fact checkers or whatever. Uh, it was a colleague shot him in the head, too, wasn't it? By accident, yeah. Yeah. Do you think it was, though, or do you think, you know, she did an Alec Baldwin? I don't know. She was. Oh. Because oh. if you know her, you know. He knew really what he was up. Oh, he moved on pretty sharpish, didn't he? <laughs> You're right. He's like, fucking, just listen, that is what it is, the way home. 
Not too long leave us having pancakes after that. No, no you fucking no. Got free pancakes. This is wild. We'll be back in at nine in the morning anyway. Yeah. I'll see you later. <laughs> Oh, that was a real round. Yeah. What am I like? What am I like? <laughs> Can't take me anywhere, I swear to God. Listen, I didn't pack the gun. I just, they handed to me, I do the shooting. No, free Baldwin. Free Baldwin. He's yeah. free. He's fine. Yeah. Nothing happened to him. <laughs> Shot the, some bitch in the head. The power of being rich and famous, eh? You can get away with a little bit of murder. Yeah. What were they doing this person? Were they like making a documentary about Hollywood pedophiles or something? What was that? The person he shot. Oh, really? Apparently. No way. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I don't go near this end of the web at all, but I, there you go. <laughs> Saying that, every, everybody that gets mysteriously killed is like, you know, apparently we're making a documentary about pedophiles. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's like, fuck sake, don't let them, don't let the secrets out. Yeah. I love it when someone dies and they go, that, that vaccine took a another one. Ah, you know? Yeah. I'm ashamed of myself because I've got two boosts. And I've got the full, I've got the full package. <laughs> I want premium for the vaccine. <laughs> two one. boosts. Two boost bars. Such a weak cock, you know? It's like a year, like the flu, you could get a different vaccine like every year for whatever wave of flu. Now they do it for COVID. Yeah, yeah. You go in, all the adults go in, take your COVID 24. There's a fair dose going about doing it too. Fair dose. I had it myself. Bad ridden for weeks, some of these people. Oh, I was fucked. Yeah. I was sick for about f- fucking two weeks. My auntie, she had, we haven't seen her in four weeks. I no. don't know what she's at. No. She's come back with a BBL. <laughs> Imagine I love saying that. Oh, well, do something. I don't leave the horse. Well, do your cheeks. Come back with a shelf. Aye, well, do your cheeks, lad. That's what you could donate ass. How you? <laughs> <laughs> you could donate donate ass to some fucking breadstick somewhere. Get them cheeked up. I, I'd say that this ass could go to a good home, for sure. <laughs> yeah, it could. You know, I've no real need for it. Like, absolutely not. No, nah. no. Nah. I've got that Pixar dumper. <laughs> yeah, you can shave a quarter of it off and turn someone into an Instagram star. Yeah. Overnight. 100%. We were talking about uh, women with big arses before the podcast there, weren't we? Oh, well, I mean, what else are we talking about? We're saying, like, you know, I've seen seen some of these women on the internet half naked. Yes. And then you see them with clothes on trying to walk. Porn stars in the wild. Debilitated by the ass. Yeah, it's like seeing your teacher outside of school. Can't walk. Yeah. You know? I wonder, is that the case? You get a lot of these porn stars with clothes on and you're like, ugh. Like, was it just interesting because they, they, were, they were getting red out with no clothes on? Yeah, you got to give them the jammy test. Yeah. Put them in a pair of jammies. Can you pass the jeans test? Yeah. <laughs> I did see, I did see something pulled up and, or came up on TikTok and it was like, you know, you know, like the wee corn in the cob emoji, corn stars when they arrive for work. Uh-huh. Every last one of them, skip rat. Aye. I suppose like if you're going like, I'm only taking the clothes off anyway. Yes. I'll just wear any old shit. Yes. But every one of them looked like a fucking hype. I I don't know if it were porn stars or one of those Tales from the Streets videos. Uh, well, there's, there's you know, it's a, it's a real mix of people that go into it, you know. You'll get these dolls that are all spruced up and then you'll get the everyday girl, which some people are into, you know. Mm-hmm. I'd love to see every one of your Pornhub searches. Put up there. No, no, I'm joking. Like I didn't delete the history <laughs> before I got on. Uh, come on, what are you, rookie? <laughs> what are you, 14? Just find your first pube? Private? I got a fucking... Uh, <laughs> I still go private at a muscle memory. No public searches for me. You incognito? I'm Co- incognito. Incognito, cock and high. <laughs> Did you just fart? He's incognito as cocks. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, I thought the Oma Hum came into the room. Saw the, the coke in the corner there. Me and McCartney tried to find it last night. Couldn't hear shit. The Oma Hum. We went to find the Hum. I bet you've tenned us. Yeah, I know. But we went both went to the middle of nowhere. Well, we went to Brookbright Road direction. Just tell me you're fucking. Smokes. Just tell me you're having an affair. Yeah. Imagine well, you and McCartney fucking each other. I mean, just pulled up in the Berlingo. Oh jeez, sir. Oh jeez, two years. We can make a porn series. Oh jeez, sir. Oh jeez, oh fuck me. Doppel bangers. <laughs> Many times we get fucking mistaken for each other. Yeah, I've been mistaken for Kieran Barnett three times now, and I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough. Next, next person comes up to me and says, "I love no blasters. I'm gonna fucking blast them in the face." Because <laughs> I'm a pro boxer and I've done two classes. Oh, I seen the video. <laughs> Shotgun arms. <laughs> Well, right now, eh? well, oh, it's so sad when you when you're in the moment going like, <laughs> ah, 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 and then you see the, the video of it, and you're like, so slow, so fat. Yeah, it's like recording your sets. You're like, fuck, I'm killing up here, and you listen. You're like, what the fuck was that? Aye, why are they even here? Yeah, why are they laughing? <laughs> but I tell you what, blast from the past, the playlist in that place today. What are you talking? Oh, fucking ice bowl. 
Ice Bowl Classics. Cascada? Fucking. You hitting the pads of Cascada? I don't know, but there was a lot of like, you remember that song, Bullet in a Gun? There's a bullet in a gun. No, that one. No, what's that? Pull it up. Mauro Picado? <laughs> Bro. I was having flashbacks. Like I, feel, I, was like, I, feel, I was listening to them going, I feel like I should be being fingered right now. Bullet in the gun. There's a bullet in the gun. Planet Perfecto. Aye. 2000. Aye. What? Someone does sweat and chewed gums in that place. Oh, Jesus. I tell you. I'd love to be out there. Bartez on the move. <clears throat> What's that? These are songs. I don't know these any are of these songs. I'm just saying a lot of song names. Uh, but you probably grew up in a different era when you didn't. Ev- not every one of your mates had a set of decks in their fucking cubbyhole. No, definitely not. That was uh, not going on in real drill. See, but see, right before boys were, you know, got a whiff of fanny, mm-hmm. you'd be around your mates' house over the decks. Nice. No one could mix. No one knew what the <laughs> fuck. Big CD collection in the book and all. Aye. Uh, yeah, boiler room. You guys could boiler. Aye. <laughs> Spare room. <laughs> Guest room. <laughs> Guest room. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be boys with the big, uh, you know, collecting all CDs, burning their own CDs. Yeah, I, I'm bringing that uh, back. Yeah, because you know these uh, DJs are under no pressure now because it's all there. Yeah, but see when see when that track was spinning, man. Yeah, and you had to go through the fucking book. Yeah, and get the CD by putting any scratches on. Yeah, that's real skill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever burn a CD? <laughs> guys, my shouting up the stairs. Turn that fucking down. <laughs> Shut up. You ever burn a CD for a lady? No, <laughs> no. You know, you boys made mixes. You know, maybe for my wife at some point, like, but not. not I don't a, believe that. Not in a romantic way. I don't believe you boys haven't burned CDs. And I was like, I'll send you a couple of MP3s <laughs> on we we transfer. And then they're gonna play this for his lover on Limeware. <laughs> <laughs> Few radio had tunes. <laughs> Spotify playlist, just yeah. I, Song, uh, songs to end it all. <laughs> 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 what were we talking about in the last podcast? Songs that. What did you say? Oh, when you're dying bad. <laughs> down bad Songs playlist. when you're down syndrome. <laughs> Sess them up and down. The Thomas Dankin theme song? Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, we had a right laugh in the house. This is some DAS bomb, like, but you, you know that song? Uh, <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. You know that song? <laughs> Eddie, that is Eddie's fucking. That's his ice bowl. <laughs> we had a right laugh. What? <laughs> I was going to say. Das fans with your pocket and them chinos today, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Front and back. And side and legs. Did we silly catwalk buddy earlier for a while, but I just zoomed in and goes, bro, what's that there? Like, that's, that's dad pipes, what that is? <laughs> it's, def- it's definitely the plates. It's like Anchorman. It's I, the, whatever you want to call them. It's the plates. <laughs> it's some set of plates on you. Is your Do plate- you know why you can't? 50 plus is the plate, dude. <laughs> is your plate hard or what? <laughs> Hard plates, name of the podcast. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. <laughs> it's definitely not my dick of bo- bollocks. Like. Oh my god. That's so funny. I also, uh, we're recording this today. I have took a taxi up here. Well, halfway up here today. Because of the transing strike. DJ Khaled over here. You know, <laughs> me and Anne. Bring, out the, minute, bring out the whole fucking convoy. <laughs> here, I, I tell you what, if I knew a taxi was only £40 to get you to my house. Mm-hmm. I'd fucking pay it every time. <laughs> Instead of going that bastard and bus depot. 40 quid, fucking dig it. Give me, I, had a, I had a great time. Give me an account with Swifty cabs or whatever you call them. A call a cab. Call a cab. Yeah. Fucking. Fuck. Absolutely brilliant. Not too long in the boardroom for that one. I know. What do I do here? Just when you call a cab. I'll do like, I'll do right like. The other one's called Urgent. <laughs> and then if you ask it out of character by the tenant, it's a fucking anything but. Anything but Urgent. <laughs> You know, you wouldn't need to be de- bleeding to death. Urgent my ass. I think the last one was just called Kenny's. In the midst of Maureen's car crash the other day, uh, I came back out to this fella and was like, I fucking um, I tried to phone the police, sure, they don't come out unless someone's hurt. And I was like, they're fucking useless. And he had a go at one of them sayings. Are you useless, useful, useful uh, teapot with chocolate on Are you useful, useful as a, 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 a fish, a fishnet condom? <laughs> Just absolutely butchered nine cents. <laughs> How are those belters? Yeah, I made them up. A, a, fish, a fishnet condom. <laughs> My favorite is touching a bowl. 
it's as useful as touching a ball. Did McCartney say that? Yeah. I think so, we actually, yeah. He, he, we were in Lavery, or not Lavery's Limelight one night, and he goes, his girl sitting in the front row, and he goes, he was like peeking through the curtain, and he went, some set of elders in that front row. And I looked through, expecting a load of owl dolls or something. I went, where? And he goes, no, I mean, tits. <laughs> Have you heard that? Elders. Someone never. saying calling someone tits their elders. And sure, I mean, sure enough, this one in the front was some of them girls in the front row. They know rightly. They book you never front think about that, do you? When you're a woman attending the comedy show, they come in with I think McCartney's fucking <laughs> peep showing you through the fucking thing. <laughs> the man you paid tickets for is peeping through the curtain. <laughs> the route. It's the plates. <laughs> You got a babysitter just to have your tits stared up. But they know rightly. Ah, oh, well. You know what I mean? She had a bit you know. of... She, she looked like she had glitter on them. You know what I mean? Mm. Full of racket tees. Glittery tits. Aye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fuck up the glittery tits of Planet Perfecto back in the day. Oh, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> she said that so quick. I know. It was great. Planet Perfecto sounds like a fucking Italian restaurant that's in like a shithole town. Aye. Uh, <laughs> Planet Perfecto. Been open for 75 years. Guy's got a full, you know, Tyrone accent. Yeah. My name's Mario. Mario. <laughs> Do you like a Mario cal- Quinn. calzone? It's basically a pizza and we make it into an envelope. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> Do you like carbonara? <laughs> <laughs> with, a, with a Y. Yes. Carbonara. You do love a carbonara. I love a carbonara. <laughs> My sister loves carbonara too. Is it called carbonara because it's like an Italian name or is it carbonara because it's so carb heavy? No, it's probably an Italian word. Yeah. I don't think it's a nickname people made up. I wonder what it means. What do you think it means in English? Tasty gear. <laughs> uh, carbonara. But then, you know. Enjoy it while you can, by the way. Doing Italian accents. Why? I'll, it'll end someday. We're fucked. Carbonara. Does it li- no way it literally means bacon and egg. Coal burner? Charcoal burner. What the fuck? Tasty gears far better. Since the name is derived from carbonara, the Italian word for charcoal burner, some believe the dish was first made as a hearty meal for Italian charcoal workers. Hearty? But sure, all that shit. You know, <laughs> all those all those names for like pastas and all. Yeah. The, what it really means. It's a great Italian restaurant. Name. What? Pastas and all. <laughs> <laughs> Come down to pastas and all. Kebab shop. Uh, aye, but there are, are all those, uh, you know, words, not like little pillow and all this shit. What's little pillow? Oh, the filled pasta? I, I don't know. something. Like pasta pillows? I don't know. I'm pulling that right out of my arse. Like, yeah. I believe it. If you looked up all the trans... Look up. This is, this is quality content. Nice. Welcome, nice. welcome back. Nice. Look up... Uh, Italian pasta name translations. <laughs> Top quality information delivered to you via the Bomb Squad pod. You'll sleep tonight. <clears throat> right, I love that. Because he's not going to be able to say the fucking... No, I can't. You know, he, I you can't know? say the English term in the Italian. Tadley and Letley. <laughs> Tatley and Teabags. Begetini is a thin little twine. Fedellini is little faithful ones. Vermicellini is thick little worms. Vermicelli. And vermicelli is little worms. Ugh. Little worms. Vermicelli's little worms. Aye. That's rank. I don't like that at all. Though. Have you ever had worms? No, but my law accuses me of it every day. <laughs> I take I take more than two Jaffa kicks. She's like, you definitely worms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's not. You're like, I had little worms for lunch. You're going to have a sleeve, like. <laughs> They're Jaffa kicks. They're wee pillows. You've got worms. No, you'd have worms if you were skinny and kept eating loads. Aye. You're like, nah, bro, I am the worm. <laughs> Like Walter White, I am the worm. It's not, it's not appropriate, man. I have rats. <laughs> I, have a, I, have a, I have two dogs in my in my guts. <laughs> yeah, I've got all sessions. <laughs> I've eight pigs in my guts. Is there any more? Verma, what's beneath vermicelli? That's that. Well, there's four more rows, and I take you into the actual website. Is there any of you on your mind? That you'd really the, want the wee one looks like a bow tie. Burning desire. You know the one looks like the wee bow tie. Is that? Uh, Oh, knocky comes from the Italian knocko, meaning a knot in wood. Ah! You'll sleep tonight! Gnocchi! <laughs> Gnocchi! <laughs> that actually sounds like a place near McCartney's sounds house. Sounds like a Japanese anime. Gnocchi! <laughs> Gnocchi! My name is Gnocchi Vermicelli. I don't watch anime. <laughs> 
People be watching that. People be watching it. People you wouldn't expect be watching it either. I called in the, you know, uh, what would they be, the in-laws? Union. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we knight to himself, you know, had the call down. Walked in, he's actually watching it, like. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, please wank. You walked in him watching it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, give you the house to yourself. Yeah. Lock the door, pretend you're not alive. Did he look cosy? Was he cosied up oh, watching the app? He's fucking locked in. Yeah. He's pissed off if was there. Yeah. Did he have a blanket? No, um, no. What's your thoughts on dudes who watch TV with blankets? Gay. Yeah. Uh, I I will pull a duvet from the spare room and and the thing. I'll, I'll take the duvet. Yeah. But the wee fleecy one? Mm -hmm. No. I've spent days before where I've had the duvet on me at all times. I've took the duvet from the bed, put it on the sofa, and then at the end of the night, took the duvet back to the bed and went to bed. Uh -huh. Whole day duvet up. Duvet day. Duvet day. Yeah. Just fucking jam and toast and jizz and <laughs> yeah. farts and everything all through it. Jam, did you say? Yeah, you've had toast and jam and... I think about toast and jam. A bit of gravy, fucking, you know, half a Jaffa cake smeared up it. And My aunt like, say that duvet day. She's like, I'll eat duvet day today. Yeah. But when a fella says it, it means eight wanks in a row. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a wee duvet day, as in ruin this duvet. It is funny <laughs> to wank under a duvet. Heavy? Because you, know, you hear the thump. <laughs> 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 Unless you get that real thick, uh, you know, when Maury pulls out the winter duvet, yeah. you can really make a tent. Yeah. You know, you bunch it up, sets up like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Two hands? Yeah. Someone making a draw beat? <laughs> <laughs> that is happy. Bro, there's a couple of blankets on our sofa. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of them items that, like, if it was on your bed, you'd be like, I have to wash this. It's been here like two weeks. Yeah. Because it's on the sofa, just reused for months on end. Yeah. I lifted one of them one day and I was like, and I was like, bro, that's everybody's feet. Yeah. Oh, I. Was I like, that stinks. All oh, the feet smell will linger. It'll waft around the whole house. Girls are stinking. I I'm glad you get said cozy, that. Sweaty wee toast. My feet. sister stinking us feet in her own. Every really? time she takes her shoes, she takes her shoes off out of manners in her own house. First of all, which is just like your man, on. your man, brother, are gonna there, love this. Yeah. yeah. Sitting. She does. She fucking. does. She does. She's leaping. She's feet like a duck, and they fucking stink. Are you related to her? My sister. Oh, your actual sister, not like a my actual, no. another sister. Okay. <laughs> Just in case it was like I'm your not a black lady. I know, but just in case it was like your, you know, like your brother's wife or something. This is your actual sister? No, sister. Aye. Not in law. Stinking kids. From birth. Aye. Oh. Yeah. Like yeah, girls are making like that. They are. I live with wearing them. all tights and shoes, not stinking. Aye. And there's boys listening to this with a foot fetish, like mm. yeah. they got the duvet on. Oh why? Well. You know? Well the guys with foot fetish are never soft. Oh. <laughs> There's feet everywhere. All days feet. There, ha there has to be like an OnlyFans just for feet. I thought that's what Food, food Finder was. I think that's entry level OnlyFans where, you know, people are asking for feet pics anyway. So you're like, I might as well make some money out of this. Yeah. Do you know what's great? You could have quite a serviceable wank in a workplace on Food Finder. If yeah. you were really into it. Oh, I, yeah. You know, you could just be like, ah, just leave, it on, you leave it on the screen, go for a tea break. I don't think, you, uh, no, I was buying you there at the start, but I don't think that works. What? If you're saying I have a bit of a foot problem and you're just looking at pictures of Gwyneth Patro's feet. Yeah. What use is that? But you can deflect it a bit easier, you know, like, unless there's like a cock between two feet. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Foot jobs, come on. <laughs> yeah, there's not much in it for the lady. Nah. You know, she's just lying there like she's getting her nappy changed. Unless you enjoy the sensation of things in your feet. Most don't. I don't think I'd like it. 5,000 episodes will go for foot massages, see how that goes. I'm going to get a mullet. He's getting a mullet. I'm going to do it. Not a few people DM me about it. 3,000. Saying you spine is bastard. You said you were going to get a mullet. You didn't. I can't do the ear piercing. I don't know where that came out of. But I can't it do that. It wasn't here. It was here. It's belly button? No. Get your belly button pierced. No, absolutely not. I can't do that. I'll, just, I'll pass out. I can't get my blood just done for fuck's sake. I my belly button pierced. But I will do a mullet. If you went as far as to get the belly button in, <clears throat> would you be what too... What do you mean by that? <clears throat> if you got it done? No. Even for the laugh... Would you be too scared and squeamish to take it out and yeah. then you would just have to leave it in until it hit? I'd have to leave it. I'd have to leave that wee stone in there. It'd be great. You just on stage at Lavery's with a t-shirt and you can just see it coming through. You can just see the wee, the wee diamond coming through. Why do people get their belly button pierced? For style. But it's like the ears I get, the nose I get, the belly button I don't get. Because there was a time when people... Tits I get. <clears throat> people be, tits I get. <laughs> mm, tits I get. Uh... I don't know, it's just style and fashion. Yeah. Know? You know, get the belly. People, people wearing crop tops and all. It's not for you, like, yeah. but, you know. It's not for me. It's Most hot things in the fashion are not for me. It's a wee hot chick with the belly button pierced. Yeah. It's a wee cutesy thing. My belly button got pierced, it would be what a mess that would be. Fella doing it with a javelin. Yeah. 
It looked like someone dropped a Demonte in a bag of bait. <laughs> Demontes. <laughs> Throwback. <laughs> what would you write? Gun to your head, you have to get something pierced. What are you getting pierced? Uh, fucking ear. Okay. Because it's handy, isn't it? Yeah. And I feel like... 100 I could, episodes he's getting his ear I'll pierced. go in with one AirPod and then I'll play heavy metal and I'll be like, just fucking do it. And then it'll be over. Okay. But I wouldn't get it done. Like, oh, you, you know, it's very fashionable now for men. It's on record now. Nice. It's on record now. Nice. Well, no, I never agreed this. Uh, uh, don't matter. The mullet. I'll bust out the mullet ruin Christmas. I'll get it done too. The mullet? Obviously not. The ear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the skull. I'll, gr- I'll grow Bob up. Squad go to Claire's. <laughs> 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 yeah, just two giant men sitting on that wee stool that they put like six-year-olds on. <laughs> that would be... <laughs> Getting the gun jammed in your ear, though. It's too fat. It's like a pork chop. <laughs> I can't get it through. I mean, I've been like trying to staple big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be fucking gross. That, that did happen. Did that happen to my sister? Like back in the day, she, you know, like every wee girl just didn't shut up about getting her ears pierced. Yeah. And then they took her to Claire's accessories, and the the gun got stuck in her ear. Yeah. They're all fucking hooking at it with screwdrivers and shit, <laughs> and her crying. And, <laughs> See, that's my that's my idea of hell, as if they yeah. fuck it up. It's I, like whenever I go to get blood done, they must the vein, and they have to get the black belt nursing. I remember, talking about traumatic moments, I remember being in primary school, I remember this like like it was yesterday, mm-hmm. and a girl got, this is when people were just starting to get the top of their ear pierced there, mm-hmm. and she got it pierced, and just in the class, she took her jumper off or whatever, and it just got caught, and the, it, it looked like she got stabbed in the head, like the fucking blood was just lashing down her oh neck. Oh my god, it was live like. It was the sc- it was. It was like fuck. It wasn't far off your man getting shot in the head. No, it was all the, like running blood into her shirt. It's disgusting. We piercings are minging, really, aren't they? They are. They are. You know, like a, the t- my TikToks full of people would just like, you know, like they, they get the piercing done and then the back of the ear like grows over the fucking attachment and then they have to like force it out of this. Looks like an egg yolk. Yeah. Are you fond of a tit piercing? <laughs> are you be prone to it? Nah. Nah, not really. I'd be feared of it reacting to me, uh, felons. We chewing away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the the cool thing about it is, you know, you might as well have a t-shirt on that says, "I'm a dirty bitch." Yeah, you know. Yeah, but it, you know, take them out before we get down any business here. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't add anything to the ditty. Imagine eating just a delicious slice of cake. And then there's like a screw in it. Well, that's a claim. Yeah, but that's that's you know that's what's happening there. Yeah, you've ruined delicious, the Victoria sponge. Delicious, delicious soft treat. We just a nail in it. You know, no call for it whatsoever. Nah, nah. All right, next week I'll shave my ass and I'll fucking get the piercing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do donate it, it for BBLs. Do you know what you could, you could do? Uh, ass mate. Yeah, what you could do would be funny if you had only fans is. All your thumbnails and all trick people into thinking it's some big batty gal, mm-hmm. you know, and you're shaking the cheeks <laughs> at the 120 frames, and then you slowly turn around. I'm not joking. Peace out. I'm not joking. If someone, if someone came up to you, right, and was like, "Here, <laughs> what do you got?" Mm. and it was my ass, you'd be like, "Fuck, I tear that all right." Oh, I could be fooled. Yeah. Yeah. Some bit of fake tan. Get a quick waxing going on. You it's know? over. Yeah. Take all the hairs out, all four of them. Tip, tip the bollocks and cock up to your belly <laughs> so that they're not hanging. Yeah. Fool me once. Yep. Shame on me. You think it's got the best hoop in this room right now? I mean, what for? Style or function? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do both. Style and function. I think yours could make the most money. Yeah. You know? Do you think I could make a clap? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to stand outside the door before you made a clap like but. <laughs> I don't know if I would like to smell what came after the clap. <laughs> Make it waft. <laughs> Come on, baby, make it Just waft like, for me. And then, oh. Yeah. I do see strippers, though, and I'm like, you know, yeah, I, I'm, I always think if I was a woman, it would be a career I'd like to go into as a stripper. I bet. Just for the Slide chat. down the pool, you know, do the wee dances. Make a pile of money. Yeah. You know? A pile of dollar bills, though. Yeah, but still. 
they be making bank like ice. You know, they they go down and they collect them. Were you? Th- <laughs> it's like busking. We were, were you there uh, in uh, in Amsterdam in Edinburgh when we came home early one night and there was like a Channel Five documentary on about Atlanta strippers. No, it was like fuck. Every last one of them was like in a big jeep and pulling up in a nice apartment. And this all. is what I'm saying. Killing it. Yeah, but that's Atlanta. Where are you gonna be a stripper? I don't know. Liverpool. Probably. Yeah, probably. <sighs> Scraping pan coins off the floor. I, the only strip club I've been to in the UK was after a gig in Leeds, and uh, we we got flyered for it. Me and two comics outside. Now it was me and two uh, comics, Kazim and Edwin, and we went into the strip club. Incriminated there. And uh, oh, they're both single men living their life, mm. living their best life. We went in and we all got like cards for a free lap dance. We all got one. Edwin's either definitely black or the most or the most white of all time. No. He's a black man. Yeah. And we went to the strip club and, you know, he was like slabbering all the strippers and all this here, like giving them fake stories about who he was and all. Then we all go for one. And mine was this blonde girl, lovely girl. Thick white. And yeah, thick white. And we just talked about David Attenborough for about twenty minutes. It was great. See, that's what again. You've wasted her time. These women have stories. Yeah, they're looking money though. Did you pay her for the stories? No, I gave her the gift card. What was the gift card? The card that we got in the alley that we got ushered in in the first place. Some guy was out flaring for the strip club and it was like, if you take the card and you pay, I think it was like, you pay entry fee and you get a free drink and a free lap dance. So we did that. Mm-hmm. And it was a lukewarm course mm-hmm. with a lap dance. And you went, get yourself something nice, love. Yeah. Get yourself a warm course. Yeah, I think I did give her twenty pound for a time as well. You know, yeah. Come on, come on, bring out the whole squad. Get your mama something nice from the tuck shop. <laughs> Buy yourself some makeup. <laughs> That's a ten kilo fucking mix right there. Uh, you're chatting up taxi drivers today as well. You love a chat, man. I do love a chat. I like talking to people. Anne, fascinating woman. Shout out Anne. Shout out to Anne. She saved the day. Hey, tell you what, Van wasn't about. We wouldn't be here right now. Here you might get on again because I just remembered it wasn't 40 quid, was it? No, it was, it was 30 quid? Yeah. Bro, you're getting a taxi to this office every day. <laughs> Me in it. Is that all it costs? 30 quid, eh? What, 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 well, what, no, it was... What, why am I filling up the car every time I bring you up here? I don't want to... I mean, you should be in a taxi. I don't want to incriminate on, but she did give me a wee bit of a discount. <laughs> did you give her a couple of wee... <laughs> what does that mean? Fingered her? No. Oh. No. I let you off this time. No. Pushing you like Joe Pesci and Casino. <laughs> Do you ever want to end, did you? And I hope you don't listen to what this. What I owe you? Don't you worry. <laughs> Imagine she does listen to this and you it's get a taxi again. Have it on that bomb squad, you ticky. But I we chatted and, and we talked and you know it's weird you have a real deep conversation with someone and then you, you wonder to yourself will I ever see them again? Yeah, you know, for thirty chips quid in the night, the, chips in the night, <laughs> no, chips in the night. <laughs> I do love chips in the night. <laughs> <laughs> What's better, you and your boys, <laughs> chips in the night? <laughs> well, hey, I'm chips. I, I only shit. see him once in a while, like chips in the night. Two or three times a month. That's it. <laughs> Did you fart? No, was that sick? Someone's <laughs> definitely farting. <laughs> I'm not hearing shit either. But your cheeks are that big, you could have farted 20 minutes ago. <laughs> then you shift them. And the bit. sounds when he travelled now? No. The sound to the air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the boys are delirious. Oh, I am fucking out of it today. Oh, Jesus. I was telling short he's getting on like a housing fair now, surely. Is he? Oh, he loves it. Sunburn? Yeah, flat out. Right. No, well, he did condition himself with the beds. Did he? he? To, yeah, he went to the beds for a few weeks, you know, to gear himself up for it. And I think it worked out for him. Maureen's put the fear of God on me about sunbeds. That does, yeah, you tell me some things that Maureen tells you about the sun and it does yeah. scare me. Yeah. It has me ready to get into one of them she's hamster a vamp- balls. She's a vampire, like. I think, uh, apparently so. That's probably the way she it should be. She puts on a balaclava to open the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> It is dangerous. She won't. She won't age. Like, but yeah, she's absolutely just like won't go in the sun. Yeah, you I see? have been severely sunburnt many times. Mm-hmm. One of them required a hospital visit. <laughs> and then, do you know where it took place? Glasgow. 
What? Mm-hmm. Tea in the Park Music Festival. You got so sunburned, you had to go to I took my top off for the duration of one beer. Then I got self-conscious about my man tits. Is, is that a band? On. Is that a band? <laughs> I watched the band One Beer. <laughs> and then put my top back on, and then yeah, my shoulders were like literally like yellow. Like it had burned so much that it had like filled up with The it. skin had bubbled. Oh. And then I had to go to the hospital as soon as I came home. And they put wee shoulder pads on me. Yeah? Yeah. You white bitch. I'm, I'm the whitest. Oh, everyone's the whitest. You know what I mean? But I feel like I'm whiter. Jinx so? Oh, yeah, I'm probably a bit dark. I do take a tan. You can actually tan. I cannot do that. I've never tanned. Sometimes people will say to me, Jesus, you're just back from holiday. And it's because I'm a darker shade of pink. That's all it is. But I've never looked tanned, ever. When you visited me in LA, did I look tanned? No, pink. Still. No, still. Steady. Stay pink. This boy stays pink. I do. I stay pink. It was like visiting a piglet. <laughs> I just, I, I, I'm jealous of it. Like, you know, it looks nice. It looks fun. Dave, you take a tan. You're Mexican. Yeah. He does. All right. Look at him. Now you tan up. Uh, I haven't really been on anywhere sunny, so I don't know. You're literally just back from LA. I know, but it was like 20 degrees. I didn't burn or anything, well. I, but I am very white. Very white. Racist. <laughs> <laughs> the most white. I'm all about being white. <laughs> Love being white. Do you remember that uh, UFC fighter Cain Velasquez had brown pride on it? That's a tattoo you should get. Brown pride. <laughs> he was Mexican. <laughs> It said brown pride on his chest, and as soon as everyone seen it, they were like, oh, what if I fucking had a tattoo said white pride? Yeah. Brown pride does sound like a And you're like, well, then go ahead. Aye. Get the white pride tattoo, see how that does for you. Yeah. You fucking stupid c- <laughs> White pride. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Prideful of what? Exactly. But they're brown. The dancing? Br- brown pride? Proud of what, still? The cooking? What have we got to be proud of? White people? Aye. Ah, money. What a champ. <laughs> The world chuckle and everything in it. The what? Scarface. Oh. It wasn't a good impression. It was not. No. It was the same as your Skies impression. Yeah. I can't do accents. Skiation. Skiation. I can't do accents at all. Can't do impressions. I don't have it in me. Can you do any impressions at all? Could do a Stone Cold. You can do a, a Fred Durst. So oh, I. You've done a good Fred Durst. Uh, give me a scenario he's, with Fred he's, Durst. He, he's white pride. He'd, get, he'd make me get a he white pride. He is white pride. Yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Fred Durst is white pride. Yeah. Who else is white pride? This, this is a good topic. Uh, Blink-182. Yeah, white pride. Sum 41. White, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was a couple of them. Justin Timberlake? A couple of... He's white shame. Why? Did you, did you see that clip was doing the rounds there recently? What did he do? He was... Uh, is he a nut? No, he was beatboxing. Can I... Is he a nut? <laughs> <laughs> type in... Type in Justin Timberlake beatboxing. Because it's, it's some award show. And I think it was at the time when he was going out with Britney Spears. And he's all like... They call me Jay! Chicka, chicka, wha, chicka, chicka. Like this. And she's in the crowd. Even Britney's like fucking... It's going to make me shave my head again. <laughs> yeah, it's that one. It's that one. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is so fucking cringy. Oh, no, the dude, right? Prepare yourself. It's the human beatbox. Yeah, that's me. Oh. <laughs> Piano, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? This is excellence. This is white excellence. <laughs> they call me Lake. <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes when I just lay on the sofa and uh, the next show was about to play on Netflix, my body just sounds like it's beatboxing. What do you mean? You just hear like a... Or like a... They call me McGeon. <laughs> frickin' frickin' Arn McGeon. Why did he run over and go, How we doing? <laughs> How we doing over there? <laughs> he's got the bandana on that's that's white pride right there yeah that, that is. is white pride did they pipe in the screaming no i think the, i think the, the girls you think there's actually girls minds. there for two and a half hours yes 100 yeah. early 2000s jt yeah. throwing his pipe around yeah. what do you want <laughs> till they pass out <laughs> it is funny to just see when you break it down right break it down break it down right it is funny to like break down the scenario you're a woman, 
you're in the crowd, JT's beatboxing, he starts swinging the pipe, you stand there and scream at it. Yeah. You literally scream at his dog. <sighs> That's true power. He could have started a cult in the early 2000s. But then, see, women love that. Women, women do love the, the true power. Oh yeah, look at Presley. You know, he I used mean, to uh, swing the horse about. <laughs> they go nuts for it. I know. I, I, what about that video where he's just in the back of the car? Like, I was getting my dick shot by this fucking pig last night. Wait, what? Have you not seen that? Have you no. seen that now? Yeah, yeah. There's like a documentary where he's like talking about, he's like, I got hair from this fat bitch. That sounded like King of the Hill. I was about to say it. I got hair from this fat bitch last night. She happened to be white. Were they using hair in them times? Yeah. What? But he's like the best hair I ever had. He's black now. The king was getting slobber the, ca- the king was getting a suck job from some fat bitch. He's like the best hair I ever had, that stinking pig. But he's and he's like, he's like uh, fancy dress Elvis at that point. You know yeah. with the fucking those glasses that are up there. He's got the fucking mutton chops. Yeah, proper Elvis. Yeah, as you would be. If I was Elvis, I would have a dry dick for a second. Yeah, I'd be back to back in the seconds. Uh, nah, you think that uh, you'd feel quite empty then, busting all them king nuts. <laughs> You know, that's why he died eating chicken on the toilet. He was looking for something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'd run out of it. not there. Nothing did it for him anymore. I'm going to yeah. do a combination tonight. You can't get sucked out. I'm going to eat, eat my dinner on the toilet just to get a rush. <laughs> I'm going to put peanut butter on this, this burger. I will say I have not had the thought of taking part of the KFC to the toilet. The popcorn chicken or something? No, well, like, you know, you take one wing. <laughs> what arms that do to anybody? It just sort of goes to show what state your life is in when, like, <laughs> mid meal you need a shit. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I can't enjoy my meal. Was it you? Did unless I send, I've shit. Did I send you the voice message the other day? And I was like, "Do you ever just take an absolute steamer at like twenty past nine at night and just think, what am I? What's my body doing? <laughs> what state is my life in that I really needed a big shit at I, twenty past nine at night? <laughs> I have had to. I have had the notion of taking a shit mid meal for yeah. sure. <laughs> Absolutely, but do you are you like me where it's like if you kind of no. have to shit, and you're about to have a meal, you can't have the meal until you've shit. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta do the Tetris shit. Oh yeah, you can't be in a chip with a full bowl. <laughs> no, you gotta you gotta take out the bottom row <laughs> before the next row comes in. The top. <laughs> you know what I've had to call it in my day. What? Milkshakes. Oh, <laughs> sad day for the parish. It leaves pretty much everything else though. Yeah, it's all right. I've I've got I've had to get rid of it. You know, I've had to clean up my act a wee bit. What do you call it? Is that the worms? Is it? I think it might be the worms. I can't have pints of milk anymore. You that did, was yeah. definitely a fart. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? No. Your giggles says otherwise. It's funny. That boy's just sitting in the corner. Just <laughs> boy's tooting away. <laughs> fucking gaslighting me. Like, uh, you shite in the corner. They're compressor. They're not gonna pick up anything. <laughs> Not me. Act like a waste man. That's not me. <laughs> wish you could beatbox. Be handy now. I'm sure he wishes he could beatbox. Too. Be a handy like to incorporate in the stand up. <laughs> you should have seen Lab and do that. My name is Gettys. <laughs> From Rob, how we feeling over here? <laughs> That's pretty good. You probably could beatbox. Well, of course I could. Yeah. But it is a useless talent. I mean, they're going crazy for it. Yeah. That was an arena full of cut eyes. Uh, speak, I was going to say, I mean, there, was, there was a video I seen. This is this is, this is is why guys want to be rich and famous. James Franco, spot there. James Franco was doing a, a, a signing mm-hmm. of books or something. Mm-hmm. I know he's a bit of a nonce or whatever, but like this girl goes up is to him. Is he a nonce too? I don't know. Fucking he isn't. You know, he, he, he had a camera, this girl had a camera in her pocket or whatever, and she went up to him. So she was like, Hey, I'm really nervous. I just wanted to say, I really want you to fuck me. And then he's like, All right. And he just signs the book. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's what it does to these people. Yeah. You know, guy's been in a few films. Yeah. You know, doing a gummy smile. And the next minute, this guy's like, I just need you uh, to fuck me real quick. Yeah. He's, like, he's all right. Who'll make it out to? <laughs> to Jane. To Trish. <laughs> yeah, it's quite the problem to have. You, know, you can't even do a book sign if I've been offered fuck <laughs> on a platter. I know, he's like, listen, I have 500 books to sign. Yeah. There's no way we're fucking. Yeah, my rest are fucked. We're like, we may wait there for two and a half hours. Tell done. Here in this water stone. Back of the bus. Back of the bus. Back of the queue. <laughs> James Franco up in his hoe. 
Uh, let me just check before we clock out here. Uh, this is the actual, this, this is just prime uh, owl boy being a pervert, but not really, you know. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Megan Thee Stallion. Yeah. You be talking about that that diamond. I don't think that's really going to work. The point of her being a stallion, it supersedes anything that you're saying. Are you scared? Uh, I, no, but hey, I have a stretch that like a quarter to three. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, Ocho? Don't play with me. Ocho, you better stop playing with me, Ocho. Huh? <laughs> a quarter to what? A quarter to three. <laughs> Do it to a three ways, Ocho. Deep, hard, and continuously. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got for Ocho. Meg, I know you're going to see this. Meg ain't going to see nothing. We're going to edit this out. Hey, we just having some fun, Ocho. We just chewing the fat. Yeah, that's that's how it start. It start with fun. I'm opening up like saloon doors. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop <laughs> Well, y'all don't know about Ocho. Boy, Ocho was hell when he was well. <laughs> I love that. That sounds like something on Isle Boy Wood. Oh, he was hell when he was well. He was hell when he was well, I tell you. <laughs> I love, I love that fucking. You know, he's like, he's like, nah, no, be stupid. He literally changed that accent, and he's just an old boy. Uh, <laughs> fucking, nah, nah, fuck, tell you, I wouldn't get here. Tell you, I, I wouldn't bust no blinks around. No, so I tell you. <laughs> but nah, come here. I'm only messing you. I'm only messing you, but I wouldn't have an actually quarter to three. You know, like, <laughs> quarter to three. What ain't that way? What ain't that way? No, 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 it's not like carry on. No, 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 I don't believe me, I wouldn't wear like a fucking oven mat, but here, come here, I've got a dancey, wouldn't you? It's the Sabbath. Come here now. Come on, rise up. Wash your mouth out, you filthy bastard. Don't be done, I don't carry on, I don't want to carry on, I don't want to carry on, she wouldn't be like the kitchen to work, to work a cloth. I don't know. I'm missing this cloth. Take two. Nice. Sorry. I don't have the brain for that. I do, I do, I do love that. That's great. I was getting hit by a fat pig. <laughs> 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 see if you can find it. See if you can find the other one. I was getting sucked off in uh, Cincinnati. Oh god, sucked clean. <laughs> Elvis bragging about blowjob. I, don't I know. go on then. Go on then. Bragging about blowjob. <laughs> Why Elvis liked oral sex? Elvis wanted to kill Priscilla's lover. Who's this? It's basically him in the back of a car type, you know, it's like a documentary type thing. Back of the car. Oh, fuck, he's getting Funny. so specific. Wearing trousers. The uh, best head? That's the, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she gave me the best head. Head fit for a king. Take off time, we'll be at 8.15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm still last night. <laughs> <laughs> dog. <laughs> that dog. That yeah. dog. You remember that chick I was hooking up with last night? That fat dog. The boys are such fucking. <laughs> the guy's like, yo, yo, Tony, remember that dog? He's with? Suck the king's dick. I love when he's like walking away. He says, "Best head of my life." But I love, I love the the fucking you know the wee the wee crew that he has around him, just the wee hype man. Yeah. You know he walks in. He's like, you know that dog I was with last night. She no. was stinking. <laughs> she was Elvis. She was there. You were in bad luck when you went for that album. Oh, you also had a few shandies in here, didn't you? But they're all like fucking. He's like, give the best hell. He's like, I know it. <laughs> Fat bitch is something. Good dick. <laughs> oh, God. Caught in a trap, caught in the doorway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm caught in some flaps. By <laughs> some big fat bitch. <laughs> because she's <laughs> had far too much gravy. <laughs> Why can't you see? You gun busted your knees. <laughs> when I'm eating chicken on the shit up. <laughs> like that, that dog I was with last night. You know, you, hey, you're the king. You can't win them all. You can have a day off, king. Give that dick a rest, king. <laughs> Let it up for some air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, 
Oh, <laughs> R.A.P. R.A.P. Gone too soon. <laughs> Gone too soon. But hey, he not, goes, not McGowan and Elvis he got in his, the same century. He got his fair share of socks while he was here, though. Apparently, oh, oh. mad. That's toxic. That's toxic masculinity. Is it? No. Oh. Or is it peak masculinity? Yeah. Walking about in that. the wee suits was adorable. Like. Oh yeah, totally. At least it's good to know he he still had no standards. Yeah, you know he, you know, he did. It didn't change him. No, you know, he still loved the better than equal Gopper. opportunities. Yeah, I'll let anyone suck my dick. Lucky girl. <laughs> I wonder what do you think he was like as a lover? Tender. I mean, either class or just uh, didn't have to do anything ever. So he was just like, I'm gonna land this bed and eat cheeseburger. Suck, th- suck my dick. You think the king was a bit of a pillow princess? Bro, oh, yeah. The yeah. pillow king. That's yeah. what he should have been. <laughs> Elvis Comfy? I hate that term, too. What? Pillow princess. I'm just a bit of a pillow princess. Do people say it? Oh, yeah. I thought you wouldn't want to be a pillow princess. princess. No, pillow princess is whenever, you know, you don't do work in the bedroom. Yeah. You don't put on a shift. Uh, you just kind of, I'm like, I'm just going to be fucked now. Yeah. You know, I suppose men can do it too. Like, yeah, pillow kings, pillow kings. Shout out to all our pillow kings out there. Yeah, shout out to all our pillow kings who are, you know, too heavy to get on top of their wife. I was gonna say, I'm a pillow king for health reasons. I'm a, I'm a mattress man. <laughs> I'm a mattress man. I'm a mattress man. I'm a mattress man out of uh, physics. Yeah, <laughs> out of pure physics. Yeah, you know what, man? Top, power top, power, top. <laughs> power bottom. <laughs> Poor side. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Have you got a Tinder? <laughs> I think I. Ch- change the bio to par side. <laughs> Do it right now. Enjoy walks in the park, avoiding dogs, and uh, <laughs> certified par side. Certified par side. There we go. Oh, come on. You're, we just see the activity in this tonight. Does it, does it be dinging? You get a lot of matches? I could do, I, but I can I just, you know, it's it's so soulless, you know. It really is. Well, you're, I mean, you're looking for a long chat, and they're just looking dick. And you're like, nah, let me let me, let me me do a man on the street interview with you. <laughs> Certified. Power side. Yeah. Screenshot it, send it to now. <laughs> Pillow king. <laughs> Pillow king. <laughs> they're shopping you nards. Welcome to Pillow King. Are you too big to get on top of the wife? Do you need a comfy mattress to lay on? While she's bouncing about the top of you? Oh, bro. Awesome. You can thank him oh, for yeah. that. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I ever get the right, it's because of your photographic skills now. <laughs> and I like the way you cut me out of that photo. <laughs> well, you know, I'm putting myself at the front and forefront, you know. I've been sent a few uh, accounts where people have me in a picture on their Tinder. Yeah, and I'm like, it. way to fucking scare the scare the hose. <laughs> scare the hose. Yes. Because you would look at it and go, if there's any chance, it's that fucking <laughs> bald drug dealer. No yeah. thanks. You yeah. Know? Well, people do do that though. Like they'll put up pictures and there's like four in the picture. You know, it's like the wiggles, and you have to back out which one it is. Although it'd be funny if it was like, uh, you know, there's a picture of me and some fella, and it's like Oren, twenty two from Uri, and then it is me. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought you were the young, the young looking guy on that. Yeah, nah, it's me, yeah. bitch. Successful Tinder is like lottery odds, though. Like, you know, I've heard of a few couples started on Tinder, but Jesus Christ, it's a tough, you know, to go from a wee ding that's a match to meeting someone, and then it's mad. Like, yeah, I never understood speed dating, but I think it's probably a good thing. I actually think speed dating would probably be great crack. Yeah, because you don't have to commit to the full dinner and a show you could just be like a lot of them are like one minute two minute yeah you know convey everything you want about yourself and then at the wee thing and on you go yeah then at the very end you write down who you you know who you have an interest in and then hopefully they write you down too and then they contact you the next day by email acoustic tinder it is it really is yeah it's probably the way it should be like nice my woman's out there somewhere hi God knows what is that. <laughs> Hopefully about a yard work or something. Putting her back in it. <laughs> Want to start it back. Uh, take care of your garden. Don't need checklist out. Your mask. 
Imagine you were on Tinder basically recruiting for your <laughs> man. <laughs> Better be good at making tea, slicing cake, and, tri- and trimming bushes. No pun intended. Actually good at trimming bushes. Would you take Ozempic? What is that now? It's the extreme weight loss. The skinny pill. drug? No. No way. No? No. No. Lose it the good old fashioned way. You don't need to be going to Turkey. You don't need to be taking pills. Just fucking going for a it's, walk. It's, and literally, a it's literally what people have been talking about for centuries. Oh, if only I could get a pill to make me lose weight. And now it's here. But there. This that doesn't is, make it right. This is a confusion because people are going off about vaccines and all. Wouldn't put that in my body. And then they're just like, listen, it works for now. You know, your kidneys will fall out your hole, but do you want it? And people are like, oh, what? My sister was talking about taking it, and I was like, no way. Do you have a fat sister? No, but, you know, she feels like she is, so she wants to lose a lot of weight. No call for it at all, you know. But she's been doing them shake diets and all. <laughs> just shake until you look at skinny. Yeah, you do the macarena and you lose two stone. <laughs> I thought it was you turn around, but... You do the macarena and you lose taste of <laughs> See, from the front, I uh, I actually don't look too bad. <laughs> Ironically, it is the side profile that fucks me. Every time. Yeah. And from the back, too, is not great. <laughs> In the back, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Chaked up for weeks. Oh, the side will get anyone. Do you remember... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Side comes for us all. Um, you spent too much time in your side. Uh, I because I remember when Kevin Smith was on Rogan for the first time, and he's like, "I can't believe you made me sit down." And he's like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "Fat guys don't sit." Wait, this is when he he was fat pre heart attack. Oh why? Well, yeah, he's like, "Don't make me sit." That's well, the there, worst thing you could do. Well, there's like levels to fatness, isn't there? Final boss is the rascal flat. That's when you've completed fat. What's the rascal flat? The wee scooters. The rascal. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm fucking just thinking of the band. It's a throwback fuck up. You've done it twice now. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, the rascal. The yeah, rascal. It's, it's like that meme, and it's like, <laughs> it's like here's the Texas final boss, and it's this, the <laughs> fattest guy I've ever seen swamping a, a rascal with a cowboy hat on. Yeah. Yeehaw. <laughs> Although the cowboy boot, ultimate shoe for a fat guy. Yeah. Just, just step into them. <laughs> shove your gout into them. <laughs> shove your, shove your gout. You enjoy your feet while you can. <laughs> You'll have your, your last yeehaw soon, partner. <laughs> yeehaw for the leg. Get the yee saw it. Get it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. It is. It, I'd say it would be tough, though, to be in any sort of shape and be based in Texas. You know, because it's all like, well, it's I, all barbecue. I, I was going to say to you earlier, were we, talking to, were we talking about the Katz's Deli thing on the air, were we? No. I remember showing the the vlog that we made in Austin and we're eating the chicken and waffles and two people that I showed it to went, fuck no one of them, Yanks are fat. Just because we're, you know, we, you know, we fit right in, you know what I mean? Pouring, <laughs> pouring syrup over chicken. What do you think three years in New York will do to me? Do you think I'll just be like a real fat here? Like, will I get more rotund or like, <laughs> but you're, you're will step- poverty get me? Your step count might go up like a yeah, motherfucker, you know what I mean? You might be walking everywhere. That's true. So that might kill off a bit of, bit of that. But it's all hustle and bustle, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, you're being in London even, and you're like, I see loads of places to eat, but none of, I'm not really eating in any of them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're like, I don't really know the place, I'm just marching through it. Yeah. And then I, I'll eat at the closest place. You'll find your places, but you, hopefully you'll be so busy that you're like, you know, I ate something in the morning, then I'm flat out, do a gig at night, and then I eat after it. I was listening to the podcast and two comedians were chopping up about the comedy in New York whenever they were scant and they used to get the dollar slice. You only really get that in cheese. Is that a strip club? <laughs> <laughs> no, but there is a strip club in LA called Bobo's Clown Room, which I'd love to go to just to see what the crack is. I'm going to call Ted's Bobo's from now on. <laughs> the Bobo's not there. <laughs> but they were talking about how, like, they could only afford dollar slice, so to mimic the taste of pepperoni, they used to just put hot sauce in it. Fair. You know? Fair. But then, even if you are, would you still gain wild timber because you're eating pizza, even if it's the only thing you're eating in a day? Because technically you're... No, it's just calories, isn't it? But you are smashing the calorie count there, but surely that's not good for you. You can't be eating bread and cheese every day. No, it's probably not, you know, nutritionally balanced. Yes. Your insides would be rotten. Uh-huh. If you think your arse is bubbling now... I know. Wait till you're in New York. 
I know that's the thing. I will have to wash myself. Like, you will have to wash yourself. I washed myself this morning. Uh, I, I literally said to you, I was like, <laughs> I go, let me get the balls washed first, and I'll hop in this taxi with Van. Yeah, you know, <laughs> big boy now. I'm done. <laughs> Washing your balls before you leave the house and all. Oh, they were foamy. <laughs> like that guy from the last podcast. Take a cloth and wash your balls for two minutes. And then get in that crack for a further two minutes. <laughs> Tom was saying to me the other day too, he's like, these are dirty bastards, these don't wash your legs. He says he washes his legs every shower. Gay! Do you wash your legs? You wash no. The- no? Why would I? Now I can send the shower with jeans on. <laughs> he never takes them off. He's like an old like an old cowboy. Like an old rock star. Just leaves them on forever. He's got like four foot long leg hairs. <laughs> Jet black. <laughs> the boy looks like he got some shiny legs on him. <laughs> and it seems like the kind of guy might shower his legs. I was in the gym one time. Next door here. <laughs> one time. One time the, that time I went to the gym. And the guy was like, yo, do all your do all your working out in your socks. And then the socks were like not giving me enough friction, whatever I was doing. Uh, so I kicked the socks off too. It was barefoot. Yeah. And he's like, Jesus, look at the clean your feet are. Get a bit of dirt around them. And I was like, Don't he, what are you talking about? Doing what? You can't you can't win this world. Yeah. I can't, I've got clean feet and you're slagging me for that? Yeah. What do you want me to take an old crusty foot out? I mean, my feet are both very clean and disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Because of two problems. I've got nine albums to him. <laughs> it's a dog, man. What did the king's feet were like? Rotten. No one had the heart to tell. Neither did he. No, he didn't have the heart to do anything. Not eating chicken. He didn't have the right? heart to tell a shite in a sandwich at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is that like kind of folklore, or was it actually he was eating a chicken wing on the toilet and then died? Was it not a burger with like? He had like his own special burger that was like fried bananas, peanut butter, burger, cheese. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> what did he eat when he died? Oh, how many calories did Elvis eat when he died? 10,000 to 12,000 calories? God damn! Just sit underneath. He loved food. <laughs> <laughs> I know shit. He was Eddie Hall. <laughs> it was fond of an the calorie now, Elvis. What was his la- what, favorite meal? Okay. Oh, you're right, though. Peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Presley's fondness for peanut butter and banana sandwiches is well established. However, bacon is not mentioned in all kinds of book about Presley and his mother. Uh, says he had sandwich after sandwich of his favorite peanut called? butter. <laughs> uh? What was she called? What's her name? Gladys? 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 Does your brain not go... Your Gladys was crappers. <laughs> <laughs> it amazes me that your brain doesn't go... Gladys, and then in your head go, what name does that sound like? And then just continue to fuck it up. I've never heard Gladys in my life. Gladys? Who the fuck do you know called Gladys? Give me, give me free Gladys right now, I'll give you time. Gladys Presley. <laughs> Not one. Who's Gladys Knight? Did I make that up? Consult the machine. Let me see. Look at you, look at you scurrying. I better read Gladys. Because it's not a showbiz name, it's usually someone's granny. Gladys. What was the woman in Courage? Called? Gladys Knight, singer. Courage, the Courage Dog? Yeah. Muriel, Muriel, Muriel yeah. yeah. And the father was called Winston, Winston. which is a great album name. <laughs> Two Gladys's, I'll do you. Um, <laughs> sliced bananas and crisp bacon. But, so that's, he died eating that? Allegedly. Wild meal. <laughs> Wild last meal. I don't know if he'd planned it. I know, I know. I, don't I feel, like, I feel, like, I feel like I'm going to die in the shitter. Let me make a sandwich. <laughs> Shitter's not ideal either. There's a f- <laughs> they gotta wipe your arse before they put you in the bag. I <laughs> imagine. <laughs> imagine you died in the shelter. Right now. The, like if you hadn't even got the chance to wipe yet, that's awful. Imagine they didn't find you for a couple of days and you were stiff. <laughs> they had rigor mortis set in. You, you know, they're just fucking in a seated position. <laughs> fucking glad I stand on you. <laughs> 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 I actually, I actually, I'm curious about this now. So the sandwich is well established. Yeah, the food is a gold loaf. Oh, goddamn! <laughs> uh, when it comes to a special versions of the childhood classic, no distance was too far to travel in order to get to it, and we don't just mean 
He'd go down to the kitchen and whip up a bite. Oh no, when Prezzi really had a hankering for peanut butter, he ordered a fool's gold loaf from the now-closed Colorado Mine Company in Denver. This thing was a mammoth, hollowed-out sourdough loaf stuffed with an entire jar of jelly, hollowed. an entire jar of peanut butter, and a whopping pound Whoa. of bacon. Allegedly, he once flew his <laughs> private jet from Graceland in Tennessee to Colorado to order a sandwich because it was that good. And he had party meatballs as well. I don't, that, uh, <laughs> my ears are burning. What's a party meatball? A party meatball, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Who doesn't make a beeline straight for the snacks at any party? We certainly do. Oh, uh, and we especially love a host who has meatballs on deck. That's pretty much all we need, though. Uh, Elvis was down at the party. There would be some party meatballs at the table. These scrumptious little bites were just meatballs wrapped in, you guessed it, bacon. Presley's nice. longtime chef, Jenkins Langston. Said her, <laughs> said her employer loved rich and decadent foods. No wonder he liked to wrap his meat in more meat. He was fond of a fried breakfast too. Att- oh, hot dogs with sauerkraut. <laughs> sorry, uh, sorry. Sauerkraut. <laughs> sorry. I don't like that shit. I don't know what to Sorry, <laughs> I love the way you went sar- <laughs> Sarkrat and then went sorry Sarkrat <laughs> Both wrong I don't know how to say that I know I don't know how to say that Sarkrat The last one said soda and I thought it was going to be a filled one but it's just Pepsi <laughs> Oh here If he'd have found out about a filled soda he'd have been dead early doors He'd have been, he'd have been dead before he got fat Fly me to Tyrone <laughs> Fly me to that little centra. Is that side Oma? I need me a filled soda. Hello, is that Am? Can you send a call? <laughs> Can I get a filled soda, peanut butter, and black pudding? Don't make me go down on you again. <laughs> I want to land with an empty stomach. <laughs> a burnt bacon sandwich. Fucking crap, man. <laughs> King Crat and Bresler. <laughs> oh, shoveling fucking HDMI in there. <sighs> oh, Jesus oh, God. God. Cheeseburger's pretty stunning. Coconut. Oh, hey. Hey. Coconut cake. <laughs> you over that. Sign me up. How do you say that? Coconut cake? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> the shite in the hot dog. Sour kraut. Kraut? Kraut. 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 <laughs> shite in a hot dog. Elvis enjoyed a shite in a hot dog. <laughs> Wrapped in bacon. <laughs> um, before I flush this, can somebody wrap this in bacon? Just everything wrapped in bacon? I got my Colgate toothbrush wrapped in bacon. I have every fork I use wrapped in bacon. Sometimes I wrap my tongue in bacon. Just so that I... Uh, it stays salty and crispy in my mouth. I wrap my microphone in bacon. Goddamn, I even like pussy wrapped in bacon. Which is kind of like cooked bacon and raw bacon at the same time. But the king, I'm the king, so do what I say. I'm caught in a car. I can't fit it out. Such a fat bitch, babe. Uh, that was me in the Porsche. <laughs> Got in a pork. <laughs> we gotta get out of here while we're doing it. Look at this. Uh, this is what happens. This is what happens. You know, like, uh, you know what it's like? You know, when you take, what is that, Wolf of Wall Street, where you take those quaaludes and then stay up too long? Yeah. That's what we've done right now. Lost the run of ourselves. Elvis lost the run of That is the definition of losing the run of yourself. Oh, that's the last run. When you can fucking, whatever you want, some will get it for you. Wrapped I want blowjob wrapped in bacon. <laughs> yes, King. If you were the king, what would everything be wrapped in? Black pudding? <laughs> Stick a cock of black pudding inside this hot dog. Give me a clone of Cooper. <laughs> it's time to get up, king. I'm not getting out of this bed till you give me two cocks of black pudding. I want two full-size deli-style cocks of black, ba- black pudding, or I'm not moving. Just laying in his bacon wrap pillows? <laughs> Just the whole bed's covered in clone of Next time, cook it less long. It is a bit crispy to lie on. Kill this man. Kill this man for overcooking my clown of kilty. <laughs> Call him what you're talking about. It's the king. <laughs> it's the king to you, bitch. Let me br- uh. brush my teeth with black pudding and then I'll be out. 
Can you do the better help out reading that accent? Is your mind fucked? <laughs> Let me just uh, blow you a quick, <laughs> quick kiss goodbye with a sponsor. <laughs> Never see you again. Oh, I just swallowed a snot there, but <laughs> that's a good idea. Say oh. <laughs> that. Like, like we've, 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 gone to, we've gone too far. Oh. Merry Christmas. Is this a, is this a Christmas? <laughs> is this a mouth? It's a mouth of Christmas. <laughs> I want a cock a black button in the mouth of Christmas. Boys lost around themselves. Uh, anything else to say before we get out of here? No, I think that's pretty much it. I think we've said everything. Um, been, I've had a great time. Yeah, it's been wonderful. Take care of yourselves. Thanks to the boys, Niall. But, uh, Have a great time away. Them, them boys are freezing. Are you freezing? All right. Boys are freezing. Uh, Max and Dave, get us some bed for next week. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming along with us, and we'll see you next week. Look after yourselves. All the best. I'm going in a trap.